Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kozilix, and uh, guys, I'm not at my normal setup, so I am working on a school project, and my school has like a sound pro soundproof room. And so I'm gonna try recording in this just for fun. Today, we're gonna be going over the newest, best Brawlhalla player since everyone knows now, Sandstorm Retired. I made some videos on it, go check them out. So today, we're gonna be going over the Winter Championship 1v1. And we're gonna be kind of seeing the new best player and honestly no offense to luna i think snowy is the best player in the world right now um i don't know how long it's gonna last especially after the last balance changes but he was the best player uh, during the winter season of 2022 so let's go over the gameplay let's understand why and let's uh let's break it down if you enjoy this type of stuff, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. If you like this setup and this quality, I can't really play Brawlhalla on it, but I can do more reaction videos. So smash that like button. Let me know down below in the comments. Maybe I just get this set up myself, get the microphone, whatnot, and uh, do this at my own place. So yeah, okay, let's get right into it. So again, we got the grand finals. So I believe Snowy reset the bracket. That's why it's 28 minutes. So we're only going to watch the first best of five, but um, let's go over it. Let's uh, break some stuff down and yeah, let's get right into this. Right off the bat, uh, at this point in games, by the way, it's more like both players are trying to get a feel for each other's gameplay. So it's going to be a lot of like testing things out, seeing they, if they work or not, trying to pattern and pattern recognition, especially Luna has a great start here. Oh, that was actually a clean delay and sig. Didn't actually jump. That was, that was, yeah, that was smart. For sure. Nice little parrying from Snowy there. The downer momentum, which got nerfed, so you can't really do that as much anymore. So that's pretty good. There's a lot of tempo coming from both players. There are a lot of attacks. That D-Light there, that Sarah there. Side and like there are a lot of whiffing acts. Side there, there, down there, there. Not saying that's bad or anything. It's just acts before the nerf. You were able to whiff a lot more because of tempo. You had less recovery frames, more not less recovery frames, but you have more movement. So it's a lot harder to punish than it is now. So you're kind of seeing both players abuse that a little bit on acts. A little weapon toss there. You're also gonna see a lot of weapon tosses. I believe. Yeah, there's another one there. I believe they started doing a weapon throw counter and like Snowy had some same number and the uh, weapon throw there they're neutral here i'd be <laughs> would be surprised another weapon throw there so it's a lot of like okay uh, players recognize now that running is the meta right you you want to use movement to get your opponent to miss or you use attacks like or weapons like guitars or sword where you're able to whiff a, a bit more but weapon throws they give you an automatic stage control you just weapon throw if you hit it oh my god you just get stage control because your opponent's going to jump away same thing there, right? Goes for a weapon throw there. It's a lot of weapon throws. They slightly got nerfed in the last balance change. But, um, yeah, uh, especially in neutral here, there's a lot of using axe for tempo and then weapon throwing to win neutral. So it's a little interesting to see. Uh, a lot of people have said that Snowy is the best movement in Brawl. I haven't seen proof to that claim yet, but he is really good for sure. If not one of the best. So uh, we'll kind of say it there. Luna absolutely caught him. This is not a great game from Snowy. But I do know he won the tournament. So uh, we're, we're going to see why. Okay, so Luna reset the bracket actually. So after this game, let's go to the bracket reset. Because that or it went to game 5 and Snowy won. I, let me double check. I actually do not remember. <laughs> but Luna has a really big lead here. So for this video, at least we're seeing the mistakes here from Snowy. There's just a lot of whiffing in this game in particular. Luna got some really good punishes. And, and Snowy's weapon throws, he's been weapon throwing a lot, but they haven't really been hitting. So, we'll, we'll kind of see. Like, nice little aggression there. Nice end light catch. Nice reaction going for the end light. Sider does a little overextension of the ground pound, but didn't get punished for it. Nice little side light from Luna. That's a little overextension, but again, did not get punished because of how Axe is designed. A lot of dangerous off stage here. Good try on the weapon throw. That was a clean GC side light, clean reaction. Gauntlets right now, by the way, I, I'm just going to call this now in future tourneys. They are the next meta. Everyone I know is playing gauntlets, dude. I was I was sparring Java the other day. He's on Mordex. Because Sword and Hammer got nerfed, right? So you can, we'll see if good players can adapt or not. 
it's, it's I, I think a lot of the players will adapt but we'll definitely see some that will struggle mentally especially uh, I'm still playing Macho Man, as far as I know. He's still bonkers. I don't think Axe was nerfed actually that hard. I, I think it was, like, nerfed in a fair way. But yeah, like, that's an overextension from Luna there. That was a really bad neutral layer. There's a lot of mistakes coming from both players, and it's whoever's playing a bit smarter. I also would like to say, when you're in a, uh, a tournament grand finals, this is played, like, 9 p.m. The tournament started at 12 o'clock. They've been playing for, like, 10-plus hours sometimes. So this is not the most optimal gameplay you're going to see of them. Any Grand Finals anywhere, it's never the most optimal gameplay. It's actually kind of sad to say. Um, let me take a quick peek through this set. Okay, so Snowy won this set. So let's take a look at these next two games. So did not reset. Okay. And I can't hear it. Why can't I hear it? Give me one moment. You know what? I don't need sounds. You guys are going to hear them, so it's fine. Okay, let's get right back into this. As Luna was right on top of him with iframes from the spawn. A lot of off stage from uh, Snowy there, just going for baits and whatnot. I kind of skipped through that first stock. You know what? Let's go back. Sorry about that. He actually got a stock loot really early. I want to see. Oh, he was down a lot. Okay, let's let's watch this. My bad, guys. Nice little cider. Good neutral air. A bit of an overextension. I wouldn't take Hammer off stage. It's kind of stupid. I'm surprised Hammer recovery didn't get nerfed. Oh my god. That move is still bonkers. Like, like that landing down there is so punishable on gauntlets. If you whiff it, you're standing still completely the entire time. A lot of side air, neutral air, down air. Like, that's three whiffs in a row from Snowy, which, like, might not be able to do after this patch because of the axe nerfs. Nice little down air at D-Light. Oh, yeah, whiff on the uh, side air. Now he's starting to play, I, I think, a bit more passive. Yeah, you see that right there. Luna with a bit of an over-aggression. Snowy with a nice little punish. Oh my god, that ground pound hit. Nice neutral air, and then that's going to confirm it. Yeah, that, that's a big reason why I think gauntlets are going to go into the meta. Uh, the string and combo potential you get for one dodge read is pretty insane. Plus the fact that it's easier to win neutral on gauntlets than almost any weapon. It's really good. Especially because of some options like side light on gauntlets. As a lance player, I cannot punish it. I don't have punish options for side light. I could like jump down there, but by the time I do that, they're gone. Like I, I literally can't. But yeah, let's let's keep watching. So Snowy's got a lead here. Luna's kind of just going for like hammer off stage. Kind of makes sense. Again, a lot of whiffing that side light whiff, and then yeah, just a hammer in there to hit it. It's really going back and forth, but um, I, I I know Snowy gets a lead here, so let's see what he does. A lot of off stage, just yeah, using movement gets Luna the whiff, misses that punish, still going back and forth. Nice ground pound. Yeah, Luna's just holding stage control. I think a big difference as well from like a lot of these top players and Winter Champs especially is they're getting their opponent to almost rage. <laughs> Like, it's, like, a lot of, like, waiting off stage and, like, doing whatever it takes to win, which I respect a ton, but it's so frustrating to fight against, and we're kind of seeing it now. Luna whiffing a bit more, Snowy kind of waiting, nice ground pound, and that's going to confirm the stock. And, like, especially if you go back in that stock, I'll, I'll even go back and show you guys. A lot of, like, situations where Snowy is just doing whatever it takes to knock a hit. Like, look at this, he's running across the entire stage. Which, like, the, I respect a ton. That was a bad option by Luna there. That was, like, Snowy couldn't get that punish, but then went for a Cider for some reason. You can't, you shouldn't be able to, like, and then he goes for a D-Light but whiffs because Cider. Then goes for an N-Light and button mashes and whiffs. Then Side light and whiffs. What? And then whiffs. What? This is Grand Finals. Okay. Uh, double Axe Grand Finals, I guess. Okay. I'm not saying I'm any better, but that was a lot of whiffing. Which is interesting, and then yeah, that ground pound just takes it. 
And, and yeah, if you're snowy in this situation, your goal is basically do not get hit and get as much damage as possible, right? So you're gonna see here, like, Snowy is fighting for his life, like, he is not going to commit, and Luna is really overextending here. Look at this. They're in neutral, Luna pressures, he's pressuring, he's pressuring, Snowy's kinda backing off a little bit, and now Snowy's in the air, then he attacks first. Luna's been pressuring more than Snowy this set, and then because of that, Snowy is the one waiting. Same thing here, Luna pressures, Snowy weapon throws, then Snowy down there after his weapon throw, but yeah. He's only really engaging with open throws, which like he's playing really smart, right? And I, I respect it a ton, but it's definitely interesting gameplay. Like, look, they're neutral here. Luna goes for the D-Light first. Snowy goes for the down air. Luna goes for neutral air. Snowy hits. It's a really strong punish game. Luna is the one overextending. That end sig, Snowy weapon tosses, right? Snowy tries to weapon toss again. He's not engaging unless it's really safe to engage, which is really smart, but very infuriating to fight. He's creating opportunities by using safe his safest options, either options that he doesn't think can be punished or weapon tosses. He is not over committing and he is not aggressing. Again, Luna pressuring and then creating that space. The weapon throw, but now Luna's in disadvantage. It's really like the fact that I, I, I didn't really watch the end of Omen Champs, but in this gameplay in particular, Luna's the one engaging and Snowy's the one punishing. Again, Luna engages, he got the punish there, but he's down too much and Snowy gets the win there. Like, that's that's the end of the game there. And I, I think that's going to be the common theme in this set, where Luna is doing whatever it takes to pressure, and then Snowy's just avoiding. That wasn't a ton of weapon throws, that was even on both sides. I think it was worse at Omen Champs. Yeah, average damage per engagement. Snowy's getting more average damage. Um, the light attack count was similar to both. Snowy is way higher accuracy. Luna is whiffing. Oh, and now my audio works. <laughs> Whatever. Super weird. Let's keep watching. Here, let's get to the start of the set. By the way, if you hear a bit of a background, I've got some friends here. <laughs> We're working on a school assignment. I'm just filming a video. It's great. That was a really clean start from Luna. Double end light was really nice. Good damage. Little weapon throw. And like, look at this. Luna engages first, and then Snowy gets a really good punish. Luna engages first, Snowy gets a really good punish. That's the common theme. Snowy is basically running, in a good way, right? You gotta run to play well. That was a stupid ground pound, and got punished for it. But yeah, another ground pound, but that confirmed it. He's almost dead, yeah. He's, Luna's barely surviving here. Look at this. In neutral, Luna goes first. That's that's the problem, is Snowy is baiting Luna. Luna is making these mistakes, and, and Snowy's catching him in disadvantage state. And when Luna has an advantage state, he's overextending or whiffing. A couple bad habits are just showing, really. Bad D-Light there. Still a lot of whiffs. Look at this. They're in neutral. Luna's the one pressuring. Snowy is on the off stage. Then Luna attacks first. Again, attacking first. Then Snowy weapon throws to get a uh, dodge out and then engages. He's not engaging. In, like, a good way. Again, I'm not saying this like, oh, you guys should give Snowy shit or whatever. He won. Like, dude, if you win the tourney, like, run all you want. I want to win a tourney, right? But that's that's how he's winning. And it's good to acknowledge it, to understand, okay, how do you fight against it, right? And is it really optimal? Uh, a lot of whiffing there from Snowy. That was a bad downer, but you can get away with it on Axe, at least in this patch. Bad side light, Luna missed the punish. A little overextension from Snowy there, but he's got a big lead to play with. Yeah, again, overextension from Luna. Snowy gets a little two hit, and Luna's already like a full stock behind. A, a nice dodge. Look at this. He's doing whatever it takes. In maps like Mammoth, I hate this map, and I'll tell you why. Let's look right here. When you are unarmed, Snowy is in a heavy disadvantage state here. Luna should get the weapon, or at least it should spawn somewhat on stage in the proximity of the middle. So S Luna should be the closest to get the weapon. Look where the weapon spawns. Luna side zigs. This is a stupid side zig. Snowy dodges. Whatever. He's doing whatever it takes to not get hit. Nice little dash jump. Look at this! Why is the weapon all the way up in the air? BMG! What the hell is this? Like, actually. 
Oh my god. And the fact that this is going to be in tournaments for spring champs or whatever tourneys are coming up because we just had a balance change and this is still in the game. What the hell is this weapon spawn? Like, you're rewarding players for being three jump heights in the air on Mammoth. What a joke. I'm sorry, but what the hell? I feel bad for Luna. And then Snowy gets the weapon. Like, what the hell? Ugh. Anyways. Ah, uh, it's me raging. <laughs> yeah, again, a, a weapon throw to engage, then Luna over-engages, Snowy gets the punish. Snowy, there's a couple bad engagements, right? That recovery was bad, that was a good weapon toss, whatever. But, like, he's really letting Luna engage, and Snowy is getting the punish because of his movement. Which, he has great movement, but he's really just avoiding and doing whatever it takes to avoid. It's not, like, crazy neutral movement. Like, he's not... This movement does not compare to Sandstorm's movement. But, the game plan is better. And that's the reason why he's winning this tourney. Yeah, the attitude for sure. Luna is playing more aggressive. Really good stuff from Luna here. He's really catching him. He's not whiffing as much. See, like waiting for Snowy to be in disadvantage state, but that's just an overextension. That's Cider. Overextension. Goes to the punish. Overextension D Sig and just loses it because of it. Yeah, it's. I think Luna's a great player, but uh, this. You will not get away with this on, on Axe now. Or at least you shouldn't. Axe should be a weapon where if you whiff, you should be punished harder than other weapons. Which, that's what they're going for, right? They uh, reduce movement speed on like Nair and Dare and Sarah. So, it's getting there. But, in this gameplay, that's really what took Luna to the top is a lot of his opponents are not punishing his, these whiffs. Snowy is. Snowy is playing a lot safer and he's getting them. And right here, like, Luna dares, that was a good down there. But he's still attacking first for no reason. Stupid cider. Then dodges down. Then the weapon throw. Another weapon throw. Like Snowy is playing safer. It's not. It's not necessarily better movement. It's a better game plan. His thought process going into this is: I'm going to let Luna miss, and I am going to engage in the safest way possible and use Rayman Sigs to mix up and get early kills. It's a very smart game plan, especially coming like from a Rayman player. My game plan going into this was to let the opponent miss. Like I understand that game plan. It's how you win Brahalla. Parrying. It's it's sad to say this, but running and letting your opponent miss. Look at this. Look where Snowy is on the map. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Snowy d does a little downer. Luna's in dark, dark red, so that kind of makes sense. Then Snowy jumps. Jumps away from that, tries to go for a punish. Look at this. Instead of attacking Luna on stage, runs off stage to the edge, waits at the edge. Luna's like, okay, now I want to engage. Luna engages with movement. Snowy dodges decent movement there to bait. Then Luna engages, and then Snowy's in a position to punish. Whiffs the punish. Whatever. But look, now he's got stage control because Luna overextended. He's letting his opponents overextend to get stage control. It's not stage control because he's winning it it's because his opponents are losing it he's letting his opponents lose he's playing in a way that lets them lose it's really smart again um i think this may have went to a game five so let's just watch the last game yeah let's watch this last game but yeah it's i'll say like re-watching this gameplay i haven't even seen this set it's a little frustrating these players are so good, but the game plan to win now compared to what it used to be is a little sad. It's a lot of just playing as safe as possible, and like maybe to players who have never seen Brahalla, this looks really good. But to some more veteran players, it's a little frustrating to watch. I, I'm not going to lie. That was clean. That was a bit different, but let's like go through it again. Like, why did he get all this damage in the first place? Let's let's go over this exactly. Stupid downlight. Snowy's there for the punish. That was a really good read. I'll give him a ton of credit. That was really nice. Dare over extension. Stupid downer. Now Luna's in disadvantage state. He got stage control because Luna committed with a downer. Like, and then goes for a ground pound. Now Luna has stage control, but now they're both unarmed. 
Then Luna lost it for going for a recovery. And then Snowy gets it. And then a free combo. And then stage control, stupid sig. Nice little side sig. And then let's see this ending. This this ending was interesting. And yeah, it's just a clean punish. Nothing too crazy, but yeah. It's just... That, that wasn't as much running. That was both of them kind of playing stupid off stage and just, you know, going back and forth, but whatever. Look how his, his movement, especially off stage. Luna has stage control here. Luna should be an advantage state here. Right? Snowy dashes, dodges back, running a little off stage, goes off stage, goes back on to ledge cancel, goes for a side light. Luna whiffs a punish because Axe is pretty quick and his other Axe is slow. Nice cider. Now off stage. Oh, goes back off stage and then punishes. Like, really good movement, right? I respect a ton of it, but it's more about the game plan. I don't think, I think other players can do the same thing. It's just his game plan with the weapons he has. You can't do that game plan with other weapons. That meta allows it. Hopefully that meta doesn't continue, but it's good to acknowledge that this game plan of letting your opponent miss and whiffing and punishing with the hardest hitting weapon in the game is really smart. That was a stupid delight. <laughs> and yeah, like it's on stage there. Let's keep watching. Runs away. Luna's going to be the one pressuring. Gets a neutral air. Nice. Again, it's a lot of Snowy's in disadvantage state, but wins anyways. And by disadvantage state, I mean the person running theoretically should be in disadvantage state. If you are pressuring someone, you force them to use options, they should be in disadvantage state, but they aren't in, on the maps. Look, the soft platform there allowed Snowy to reset it there. And then he's using tempo with that side air. It's really nice. And by tempo, I mean whiffing intentionally to let your opponent miss. If you use an attack that can't get punished, then it's tempo. A lot of the time there's accidental tempo where your opponent just is bad. But yeah, Snowy is just not committing. He is doing whatever it takes to survive. We are two and a half minutes, maybe no, three minutes. Is it three minutes? It starts at eight, so seven, six. Okay, we're like two and a half minutes. Snowy is just entering red now against a Taros player. That is sad, but like respect. <laughs> he is doing whatever it takes to stay alive. And to beat something like this, I don't even know what you do. I would not play Mammoth, first of all. It's playing into Snowy's hands. I think maybe we watch the uh, Omen Champs set for another video. I'd have to think of a good way to market it, but that would be really cool. Yeah, just same thing. He's just building it up by playing safe. Yeah, no, no committing. Let's see when Snowy actually commits. That D-Light was a commit, got punished for it. He also was, like, super far ahead in stocks. Okay, let's keep watching. Does he commit ever? Nope. That was a stupid D-Light, but didn't get punished for it. Nice D-Light. Nice downer. That wasn't committing. That was a good punish. Still no committing. Luna's weapon throws first. Stupid D-Light. Snowy's so far ahead here. He also might be just making more mistakes intentionally, but... Yeah, nice little down air, and it was safe because he has movement with that down air, at least in this patch. Went for a dodge read there, or reaction just didn't get it. This gameplay, like, honestly, is not that different than mine. It's just they're doing that running gameplay. Not Luna. Luna is engaging. I'll, I'll give Luna a ton of credit here. He is trying his best to engage, but Snowy's not letting him. It's kind of sad that, like, no offense to Luna, I'm just saying that a terrorist player is engaging, but he is. He's the one attacking first every single time. You could probably look at the underlying stats here every single time. Yeah, nice side air. That's, I think that's the end of it. Yeah, that's it. That's the set. What did we learn today? We learned that Optimal Burhala is letting your opponent miss and doing whatever it takes to get them to miss. And what Snowy did was a lot of running, a lot of good movement to get your opponent to miss. But also, he chose to engage in the safest ways possible. Be it high movement options, weapon throws, and just got clean punishes too. He played well. Tons of credit. Is it sad that you have to go four plus minutes into a game 
and Snowy isn't even on his last stock, there's 3 minutes and 46 seconds, and he's not on his last stock. That's a little sad. But that's the state of Brawlhalla. Uh, how do we fix this? Um, I don't even think it's about nerfing weapon throws. I think smaller stages, weapon spawns towards the center. This map rewards players for being in the air. Um, I do think weapon throws being a safe way to engage is pretty sad. I think you should reward good players who have accurate engagements. Um, so smaller maps, I do think nerfing weapon throws. Fixing the weapon spawns. Um, and, and, and yeah, um, weapon throws also create a way for people in disadvantage state to reset by weapon throwing downwards. So maybe nerfing that, which they did in the last patch. So it's getting better, but still a lot of work to do. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. And uh, turn the notification bell on. If you enjoyed this microphone and this setup, then uh, maybe I'll do something like this at home. Thank you so much. Have a great day.